An addendum to end dumb. I'm doing a video that I, I chopped off the previous video because I want to cover this one a little bit better. And also I missed a question, so I'm going to do that one first, but the other one is, well, you'll know what I mean. Alright, this is a person attempting to communicate with me. They're probably doing the best. I'm not trying to make an assumption. And it's about the troop of people claiming that the Philippines is the source of all gold on the planet and whatever. How possible that you have more knowledge of the history of our country, your just dependence on goal, on Google? Do you think all of Philippines history can be found on Google? You have much knowledge, have a much knowledge, but not yours, but from Google. I'm quoting the sources that were quoted by the people making the assertions that you do not agree with, or that you do agree with, that we're talking about here. There is a myriad of people who are pretenders to a throne in the Philippines when there were multiple thrones, and that these thrones were abolished a very long time ago, or in some cases kept, and that only a few of them still exist, and they're sultanies, sultans, who have clear lineages that do not lead to the people who claim to be pretenders to the throne, or Karen Hoods. One. Two. Your country provided the history I'm quoting. Next, the rest of the history before a certain point was destroyed because missionaries from a specific religion from Spain and Mexico destroyed it as pagan. Next, the people who are making the claims that you are probably agreeing with, but I don't know, won't provide proof. They make spurious allegations and assertions and say things that people like you and I might like being said. If somebody told me that... Um, that somehow or other the Pacific Northwest should become Pacifica, an independent nation state, because of XYZ reasoning. It wouldn't matter if it was good reasoning. I would use it as an excuse so that we get separated from the United States. Why should, why should Texas have all the fun with this meme? Come on. Um, and I'd like to remind people, Texas does not need the rest of the United States. Most states in the United States don't need the other states. We can actually get along pretty well. There are only a few states that really can't do it. They're all on the East Coast. Honestly, seriously. Come on. And, no, I don't know. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just blowing smoke. But where? Um, but in your case, I have to respond with this. I'm using the same sources as you are. I come to a different conclusion. My sources corroborate my assertion. All you have to do is show that I'm wrong by bringing up sources that aren't, aren't people who disable comments on their videos, hide when you try to ask them a simple question, won't provide any proof of any kind, and get caught hopelessly doing terrible photoshops of themselves wearing someone else's outfit and skin. Guy didn't even get the skin right. Um, I mean, literally. Uh, I don't do fraudulent postings. If you want to claim that I reposted something based on fraudulent data I got off of Google, that's expected. None of you do it. You just get mad at me for commenting on something you consider an internal matter. It's being discussed on the net by people, in over half the cases, who are in the United States. These are people in the United States I'm critiquing. Okay? They're, they're, they're scam artists. Okay, now let's get on with the main question or comment. Uh, that was the one that I accidentally skipped on the previous video, and I'm just going to do... Let's just do this. Let's do a Philip DeFranco. Assertion by somebody under one of my videos. Here we go. It all boils down to Big Brother and what he saw and recorded. The cameras don't lie unless it got in the hands of a man, meaning the footage has been altered. Counterpoint. You can say that about anything you want to. There has to be a point beyond which you start trying to find things that are real. And also, to counter this, if this is also the data you're using to prove something, then that means it could have been inserted to fool you. It, this is a, a non-starter. Let's agree to disagree on things and be able to interpret things. JFK was shot by the driver. Look closely. I did. The original recording that is on film, not 50 generations later, but the original film you can go look at, the, the still frames from the, the film uh, does not show somebody shooting JFK. It shows something that after many generations of being recopied looked like a gun in someone's hand when actually it was something else. I don't want to explain it because I'm not going to go there anymore. This is the one rabbit hole I don't cover anymore because I'm sick to death of it. JFK conspiracy theorists are, are in some cases what is considered the origin story for where the, word, where, where the expression conspiracy theory came from. 
they're not. But there's a prototypical example of it. The Paleolithic Alex Joneses. <clears throat> but I have to point out this is an old idea, by the way. It's a lot older than JFK. But that group is the most notorious for being also the prototypical example of people who will not accept that they could have simply started off with a wrong assumption and refuse to ever, ever acknowledge it and stop. If you're a JFK researcher, you're stuck. I'm not researching anymore. I've come to a conclusion. And it does fit with most of what we've been told. It doesn't fit all of it. Because there was missing data. We didn't know until, I think it was a decade later, about a shot that hit some cement or another thing hitting a, a metal pole. Okay, it's, it's interesting the stuff keeps coming up, but this is like looking up D.B. Cooper. This is chewing gum from the mind. Don't let it take over your life. Okay, next. That footage was played for decades and nobody noticed because the computers were not handy yet. Counterpoint, you're looking at blurred versions of it years later and you're looking at YouTube versions of it where people emphasis added. Nowadays, you can, you, you can zoom in digitally literally unlimited. No, you can't. That's not real. That's the meme from movies. Enhance. You can't enhance that way. That isn't how it really works. You're looking at digital artifacting. There was a guy on YouTube who used to put up videos where he would zoom in using specific zoom filters, different zoom filters, uh, that would try to rationalize a single pixel and it would end up making letters and numbers out of it. He zoomed it into 15 times the size of a pixel. He was just zooming a pixel. It just gets bigger he used a piece of software that would make it infer something from the other pixels. Which just means it was mirroring what was on the outside. It becomes a fractal activity. Always. No, you can't zoom unlimited. They took the JFK footage and you can see only when zoomed in and slow down and nobody had the ability to do that until 20 years ago. Wrong. People have zoomed that film in before. It's grainy. Um, you're looking at clean looking squares and stuff, right? That look like gun barrels? but before they were blobs because we did zoom them in. It's called optical zoom or blowing up an image. Unless you work in a film room for hours trying to stabilize that stupid Sasquatch picture. Anyway, just don't get me started. I, I, I need to be paid to do this stuff. No, 20 years ago and before that, they did it with film, and it didn't give these results because you're seeing artifacting, JPEGing. <coughs> Almost 50% of the population can do that with an iPhone, yes, and the iPhone zoom is still wrong. You do not understand optics or photography. This is how disclosure works through Big Brother. No, it isn't. You're looking at conspiracy... Every time a conspiracy theorist gets caught being wrong, everybody says, oh, he was planted by the government. You don't have to take responsibility for your own kind doing what you do, which is not letting go of an assumption that has no basis in reality because you desperately need to not say, I was wrong or I was fooled. So get the footage, zoom in, and check for alterations, and you will have your truth in all cases. Really? Okay, maybe you're going down a different rabbit hole. Maybe it's a gopher hole. For example, you have a lot of video of fake UFO and real UFO. There aren't any real UFOs. On YouTube and on the internet, I haven't found a single example that is clearly an unidentified flying object from another planet. Stop calling them UFOs. We do not have any real imagery of extraterrestrial life visiting the planet. That's a big reach. Unidentified flying object just means the person looking at it doesn't know what it is. Everything's a UFO. Even a bird. If you've never seen it before, you don't know what it is. It's an unidentified feathered object. It doesn't change anything, though. Again, we're not being attacked by another planet here. What, what's the end game with UFO stories? Anyway, why do you want disclosure? that they don't know what they are either? The best way to cover lies to fake it. So now we get to the point where when you find out that the UFO picture, that triangle, um, was actually styrofoam with flashlight uh, lenses put into it. You say, well, the government faked it. No, one of your kind faked it. A conspiracy theorist faked evidence. Whenever that happens, and it's happening enough now that people have to have this escape hatch. Is that it? Let's see. Let's go on. <clears throat> the lie is that aliens do not exist. That's not a lie. 
the truth is we don't have any proof they exist and the truth is unless they're extremely different than humans like literally not based on biology of any kind not just that we could not understand but even hypothetical ones they wouldn't be able to exist the way we we're talking about something from outside of the solar system coming into the solar system wouldn't work it would have to be based out of and have evolved on a planet orbiting the Sun or be on an extremely long duration trip someplace and have come through here and left already or came here and stayed <coughs> That's it. Those are the only two options. The third option is that they landed a long time ago and died in the middle of the ocean. That's the Atlantis idea that people keep bringing up, but that's at least something. <laughs> but it's not a lie that they don't exist. The, the lie is that you have proof. You don't have proof. I require proof. Here we go. I have made animation for fun <coughs> a few times, simple stuff, and have trained eye, although I have been fooled a few times. Then you don't have a trained eye. It's not your eye, it's your inner eye. Or is it the inner cue? If it doesn't definitively prove something, it's not proof. What is you attempting to prove? The weasel out is it's an identified flying object. The non-weasel out is, are you able to prove it's an alien species landing? <coughs> not just some unusual shape in the sky. Every damn pinpoint of light becomes an alien. They don't like saying that because then they have to actually prove they're aliens. I require proof. I also require you don't weasel out. Stop calling them UFOs, please. <coughs> it's just that in real life, I can see things that were not fake and more amazing than a UFO. Okay, Another star. They call it Nemesis or whatever. It a real man. They are trying to hide it with the chemtrails and using weather control to create clouds activity. You don't have any proof of that existing either. And you don't have any proof of anybody t hiding it. <coughs> and you're going to use digitally compressed JPEG to death images from webcams to prove this, right? Or you're going to rely on researchers that get caught constantly faking evidence. And then when they get caught and you finally have to accept it, <coughs> they were always a shill or a plant. The truth is Nibiru is close and they live there. Nibiru star called Nemesis, a dwarf star, is the most pristine light in the universe according to scientists. No scientist has said that at all. You haven't found any scientists. You find woo peddlers, peddlers who are told by, uh, who say things that other scientists say are not internally consistent. Like somebody claiming that <coughs> black holes turn into brown dwarfs or white dwarfs turn into brown dwarfs. No, they don't. That's not real. That, that, that it's literally wrong and that was a theoretical physicist who'd never studied astronomy okay I looked right at it in daylight while driving it filled my eyes with something like cemetery or a line from kinds of maybe frequency in a way light is supposed to be able to enhance DNA and quantum fusion now you're just going off the rails all kids born within 50 or more years have had more contact with this star frequency because it was close enough they're going to you know, Mandela was a setup people who'd get hurt but all the distraction probably killed the owner of the hotel of his estate or to drive the men Mandale owners bankrupt it usually a real estate scam I've seen it and dealt with it such scum and everywhere lazy no talent scammers Trump knows what I'm talking about better than I can explain it. Ask him or just listen because he's not lying. <clears throat> I've caught Trump lying more often than a schizophrenic in the street. He, he literally lies three or four times a day. I don't want to trust anything he says. If he's a narcissist, he's a super co covert and cannot see any wrongdoing from him yet. He lies literally every day, provably. You can just double check what he says. He says things in a petty way that are wrong not true all he has done is stop not spread war like Syria these drug dealers and then the guy just goes on and on okay I've covered it this was a waste of my time too but anyway how to fool yourself versus research maybe we should take that one Trump has not been BSing yes he is that's his existence he is the swamp he's also the moss and he's the alligator and a frog and your best friend. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Bye.